anything can happen with those pictures. Those oh, sure. pictures can be posted different places. It okay. became clear to me that she did what people in prostitution do. They up the ante. This is why I'm I better than this. This is why I hate this station. That's what this is about. <laughs> this is why I hate this station. If, if I can't get a single girl in here to do this, I'm going somewhere else. Look, she had the intent. We'll miss you, and don't let the door not hit you in the tail on the way out, okay? Okay. Well, on that note, I'm going to is, Only Chuck can gonna... say that about this station. Come on. Uh, really? And then be invited back. Yeah. Come on. All right. Let's ask the viewers what they think. Do you think that prostitution should be legalized or at least decriminalized? Do you think it's a waste of time to charge these women and their clients, or is it necessary to pursue arrest? And if it were legalized, would it be beneficial or hurtful to us as a society? If you want to tell us what you think about this, a couple of different ways you can do it. Email your thoughts and opinions to me, and anything you want to say about Chuck, send it me my way. <laughs> Log on to CSNPhilly.com, then put in the It's Your Call or IYC. Under your search, that'll take you to my webpage where you can leave me a comment, or you can leave me a comment directly at Lynn at LynnDoyle.net. You can also find us on Facebook, my Space or YouTube, and I do have my Facebook uh, comments here about prostitution. We're going to share those with you in just a minute. We're talking about this because of the Susan Finkelstein case, but obviously that that you have to admit, even as prosecutors, that that case is one in a million where you've got a 44-year-old grad student who's trying to get tickets to the World Series. It's not really your garden variety case of attempted right. uh, prostitution. Right. She, she's not working, you know, the avenue under the L. She's not working Kensington. But, you know, again, I, the one <laughs> thing I mentioned about this case here is that clearly it, we're in a modern age where these internet sites are being used for illegal activity. But really, you get down to a more important issue about prostitution. Why should it be illegal? And a lot of people out there say legalize drugs, it'll reduce the crime. Legalize prostitution, it'll reduce the crime. But we know there's certain reasons why prostitution needs to stay illegal. Okay, let's talk about them. That's why I brought you guys together. She was the jumping off point. But now let's talk the about it. The reason it needs to stay legal, it's illegal, is because of the moral argument. But if you're a taxi, we, we tax cigarettes, we tax booze, we tax all these things, sin taxes. You could take the revenues from that. Sin taxes. You, like yeah. you could treat women for venereal disease. You could treat them for their drug programs because most most uh, uh, prostitutes are junkies. They're they're, they're junkies. It's it, plain and simple as that. You Except could get that money and and give them drug programs because we still have a country where you can't walk into a, a into a place and get treatment for free. That's that's another story. We could take all the revenues and then police the real prostitutes, the, the people coming in from China and from Korea and from Vietnam where they're bust in and they have these houses. And if you, you take know, the you revenue know, from legalizing prostitution, you could actually help you prostitution. Know, you, know what, you know what's almost humorous about his comments is if you analyze what he said, cigarettes that do nothing but kill people and cause cancer and evidence shows Good that. Point, Alcohol that does nothing but kill people and assist in killing drunk driving. But they're both the legal. No, but, but what I'm saying is we've taken illegal things that damage people and cause chaos to society society and made them legal. Now you're talking about doing another illegal thing that will cause chaos to society, damage to society. For example, suppose someone is not protecting themselves. Not not even talk about diseases because we're going we can talk about that in AIDS and everything else. But suppose they become pregnant. What position do you put them in now? Now you put them in a, a position of having an abortion, not having an abortion, having a family by somebody that you don't know that you just slept with. To the end of it, this is a scourge to society that doesn't benefit society and harms society. And the basis of laws are to protect society from harms. Therefore, it's illegal. What about the Treat sexual the animal who wants to go out and has to have sex, but and, and instead of going to rape Joe Joe La Honey Pie, she goes he goes and pays Treasure. another girl and and pays sex. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because there is. A confusion as to why people commit rape. The majority of rape is a crime of violence and control, not a crime of sex. Majority it's of not about of someone trying to sexually gratify themselves, but somebody's trying to violate, humiliate, and control a if particular individual. If we could individual. save 10 women we, a year, 10. But we won't, Chuck. If we could save 10 women a year, it's a good thing to legalize it. I, I, have not, I have not found any evidence. I have not found any evidence that indicates the correlation between people's desire to have sex and rape. Look, I, Chuck, found evidence, I, I found evidence to correlate this. between I, people's I agree desire to control most of it and violence. Is a, it's a power Chuck, crime, Chuck, but not all of it. Chuck, you mentioned cigarettes. You mentioned cigarettes, and you mentioned that cigarettes are illegal. Well, think back to Beverly Hills Cop. That opening scene of that movie started out with, with cigarette hijacking. Okay, the organized crime continues to use cigarettes Scott, and sell it without I'm a tax stamp. Okay? Let they me sell ask it you without this. a tax Let me ask you this, Scott. Still involved with organized crime. Before the 21st Amendment, repealing prohibition, who made all the money from illegal alcohol? 
gangsters and thugs. It gave America organized crime. The minute prohibitions repealed and it was regulated and taxed and controlled, it was a hell of a lot Did safer. Did organized crime disappear? It, it, no, they went on to something else, though. Al Capone will be selling cigarettes. tomatoes still for cigarettes. prohibition. Okay, on that note, guys, i got to take a quick break. We're going to be gone for just a couple minutes, but come back because you never know where this group is going to go. We're going to find out what they think about legalizing prostitution on the other side. Transportation for It's Your Call guests provided by Preferred Car and Limousine. Welcome back again, everyone. I'm Lynn Doyle. This is It's Your Call. And our topic this hour is legalizing prostitution. We're asking if you think that's a good idea, if you'd like to see it at least decriminalized, or if you think that it's a law for a reason to protect society. If you want to tell us what you think, you can email me at the various addresses that we show at the bottom of the screen. We have a great group of uh, guests here voicing their opinions, so let's get right back into it. I want to talk to my defense attorneys over here, Lewis and uh, Chucky, and talk about some of these uh, comments that I got on my Facebook page. I asked the question whether or not uh, it should be legalized or at least decriminalized, and one gentleman says, I think all, quote, victimless crime should be legalized. One of the biggest problems facing us in the U.S. is government meddling in our personal affairs. It's supposed to be the land of the free. If I want to pay for it, why can't I? Well, yeah, I'll tell you one thing. We would get a hell of a lot more Democratic national conventions, etc., in Philadelphia. <laughs> and, and I'm not kidding around. You, all those lobbyists and, and, and pervert, uh, whatever guys, you know, the elected officials, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> they hear that prostitution is legal in Philadelphia. It's a big plus to have the convention here. Do you, is that why there are so many conventions held in Reno? Isn't it legalized there? That is why. That well, is why. I mean, think about it. Is it because they have a beautiful ocean and landscape? <laughs> no. Let's talk about a place like Reno, though, where or Nevada, where it is legalized. They've seemed to figure out a way to, to make it work for all parties involved. Look, it is legal in the suburbs of Las Vegas, okay? But in Las Vegas itself, it's still illegal. And one of the bigger global problems we have with prostitution is human trafficking. And we have, I mean, there have been cases right here in Philadelphia, the mm -hmm. Moganowski case, where you have a, a Russian uh, businessman traveling overseas to allegedly have sex with orphans. Well, these orphans are then sold into the sex trade. So let's say we have legalized prostitution right here in Philadelphia. We have these uh, massage parlors right here in the but city. You could take the revenue, you could take the revenue from the taxing of the legal prostitution and go after them and crush them instead of taxing people on their homes, on their business, on but their I cars. So you, instead so of taxing you're people willing, to death, you're willing to become morally syntax. you're willing to become morally bankrupt. You're willing to ignore not just that act, but what that act brings with it and how it damages society, I, culture, I, families. I don't know anybody who's going to do drugs. Legal. I don't know anybody who's going to do drugs. Drugs because they become legal. I don't know anybody who's going to prostitute themselves because it becomes legal. People don't become criminals because it becomes legal. And that's what I wanted to ask you about okay. following up on your becoming morally bankrupt. If you're right. not already participating in it, do you think that people would then engage in prostitution if it became legal? Is that what you're trying to I say? I think that, that I, I do. I think that I don't think that people would begin to engage in it. I think that people in the closet will come out. I think there are a lot of people that we don't know. Hey, we had a governor. Well, we didn't have a governor, but they had a governor Sanford in New York State. New York, yeah, uh, and, and I'm from New York, so I have to say we had a governor who engaged in, in this type of activity that not only uh, destroyed the, his position and his integrity as a governor, but also the, because he went after prostitution and then participated in it. And not only that, but his family, it, the integrity for the position, the, the job, the morality of the people. I mean, it is just, it seems to me that if you do a cost-benefit analysis, the cost outweighs any benefit we can get. And you keep talking about taxes, taxes, taxes. There has to be something more than just money. Well, well, there is more than money. Take a, take a governor.